Ooh, let's talk about scale drawings and scale factors. This is basically how much you have to multiply stuff to translate from a graph to real life. So you can't fit real pictures in life, right? So you have to draw everything smaller, and then the engineer has to tell you how to go from the picture to life. So Matilda is an engineer and is drawing a scale model of a centrifuge for an oil company. If the centrifuge is six meters tall, and she's using the scale of one centimeter equals two meters, right? Then how many centimeters tall should the centrifuge be in the drawing? So she's got six meters and she wants to turn that so we can break that up, right? So that's broken up into three two meter sections, two meters, two meters, two meters. And each of these is one centimeter in the picture, right? So it should be three centimeters. Right, another way of thinking about it is if you have one centimeter for two meters, then you have how many centimeters for six? meters right so you can multiply this by three and you can multiply this by three so maybe that helps and if you know how to cross multiply you can do that too but i don't want to assume you know that yet right so you're basically multiplying by three right so one centimeter times three is three i'll try to make this clear with the next example so jackson made a scale drawing of a neighborhood park. The scale of the drawing was one millimeter to three meters. If the actual length of the volleyball, volleyball court is 12 meters, how long is the volleyball court in the drawing? So we're looking for this. So this we had to multiply by three. So this will, or divide by three going this way. So here we'll have to divide by three to go this way. And so this should be four millimeters. So we'll do four millimeters. Okay. I'm just gonna look at the pertinent information. The scale of the drawing was one millimeter to four meters. The length of the volleyball court is eight meters. So what's this going to be? Well, you have to divide by four, divide by four, and it should be two millimeters because eight divided by four is two. Okay, one millimeter is to two meters. So I'm kind of thinking of this as an analogy, right? And a woman is two millimeters big in the drawing. So how tall is she really? So what do we have to do? Well, we have to multiply this by two. So we have to multiply two by two and we should get four. So she should, she's actually four meters. That is a very tall woman. No woman in the history of the of the earth has been that tall. It's more than 12 feet tall. A space engineer is drawing a model of a spaceship. If the scale is one centimeter equals three meters. Well, I guess I could, I mean, if it was an animal woman, then it could be over 12 meters tall. You guys have me. You're probably thinking that. If a scale is one centimeter to three meters, and the spaceship is nine meters wide, how wide should she draw it? Well, what should this be? We've divided by three, so we should divide this by three. Nine divided by three is three centimeters. So 
she should draw it three centimeters. I hope you're seeing the pattern here. I think it's fun once you see the pattern. I think you'll get it. A two scale figure of the space station is three inches long. So two scale figure of the space station. If you know the space station is 12 yards, so there's just sort of like, they could have put that there, right? So 12 yards is to three inches. What's the scale here? So all the answers have one inch in it, you can see. So we want there to be a one inch here. See, all these answers have one inch. So how do we, we can divide both ways, right? So we could go, we could divide this way too. We could say three divided by three is one. So 12 divided by three is four. Or we could say, Three times four is 12, so one times four is four. We could do it any way we want. So it should be one inch to four yards. Okay, so basically all these words are, Connor and Ashley are delivering donated clothing to homeless shelters in the area. They make their first delivery and then drive 12 miles to the next. On the map, two, the two are separated by three inches. What is the map scale? So blah, blah, blah. Three inches is to 12 miles. We want to know what one inch is, so we do one inch. And right, we'd have to multiply three by four to get 12. So we're going to have to multiply one by four to get four. So it should be one inch is four miles. A two scale figure of the space station is four inches long. If you know the space station is 16 yards long, what scale did they use? So four inches is to 16 yards. That means, and again, we're looking for one inch here. One inch is two. Well, 16 divided by four is four, or four times four is 16. So one times four is four yards. So one inch should be four yards. So the bottom right is the answer. Kevin draws a woman to scale. If the scale is one millimeter equals six meters, And the woman is four millimeters tall in the drawing. How tall is she really? Okay, so it's times six, so it should be times six, so it should be 24 meters. Now that is, that's a dinosaur. Like that's literally like 80 feet tall. So this woman is a dinosaur. Um, yeah, I'm just checking. Times six is 24 meters, so the answer is 24 meters. Braden draws a woman to scale. If the scale is one millimeter equals three meters, and the woman is three millimeters tall in the drawing, how tall is he, really? I think that should be a she, but why nitpick? One millimeter, three meters. If the woman is three millimeters tall in the drawing, so one times three is three, three times three is nine. How tall is the woman really? She is nine meters tall, really. Okay, next time you see a drawing of, maybe you'll go to a natural, like a museum, right, or a, a national park or something like that and they'll have one of those those you know diagrams or pictures or i forget what they're called but an actual real life 3d model they'll always have a little scale on it so you can do a conversion and see how big the park or the museum actually is all right enjoy your day and i'll see you soon